Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Alright, so we're at the tail end of last video where I failed to uh, get the axle rotated on my wheels. So a quick uh, sit rep. Behringer sold me a sweet set of wheels, but the mains had their axles turned 90 degrees when they were installed. No big deal. We can fix it. Uh, I tried to take them off individually, uh, but they are Loctited in place. And thank you for the reminder in the comments. I'd forgotten that, uh, yeah, red Loctite, you, you have to use heat to get it off. Uh, in my family, we use red Loctite to secure scopes and stuff like that on, on firearms, and yeah, you got to use heat. All right, instead, so basically what's going to have to happen is we have to take both wheels off at the same time. We have to exchange the left for the right, uh, which will then have the horizontal axis of the axles perfectly placed, which is what we want. And, but then we're also going to have to relocate the bleed valves for the brakes. It's not really that much of a pain in the butt. It's actually a really short thing once we get this thing going. So, in order to do that, uh, you can see I've got a bunch of wood here. Uh, we're going to make a nice uh, sawhorse. So I just went to the local hardware store, got a couple of sawhorse brackets, which is nothing more than uh, basically a hinged piece of metal that allows for two 2x4s two to be stuck inside of it at a specific angle. You'll see here in a second. Not a very good angle, uh, but I don't think it was made to be this tall. Uh, the hardest part was actually getting them in there. See, there you go. So basically what I've made, it looks like a giant clothespin, except that there's no spring mechanism. So we have two of those legs, and then a 2x4 singing across two of those legs. we got a nice sawhorse. It will go underneath the fuselage. And the way that I'm uh, designing this is so that when it slides underneath the fuselage, it'll be uh, only about an inch, maybe, inch and a half, sitting underneath the fuselage. That way we, we can jack up one wheel, take the axle off, lower that side down, go over to the other side, jack that wheel up, and take that wheel off, and then lower the whole thing onto this sawhorse. Uh, here you can see I've got a nice sturdy 2x6 in place, uh, which was a great idea, except for the fact that the 2x6 was too tall, and I didn't take that measurement into account when I was doing my, my leg lengths. So, in a second, you'll see me try to get it under there. That ain't happening. So it'll have to be a 2x4. All right, so all I needed to do was just take the both the comm antennas off, because that's basically where it's going to slide. Uh, I'm going to slide this sawhorse directly underneath the wing box, as that is a very, really sturdy place. Because, it's look, you're going to hold the entire weight of the front fuselage, right? Thank God there's no engine on there. Uh, but still, you don't want to bend any metal or, or cause any warping or anything, so wing box it is. Okay, so here we go. We're about to jack it up, and there's a nice, uh, healthy dose of some Crackola for you. Start off the new year right with some white ass. All right, so once we have this thing jacked up, we're going to drop it down onto the sawhorse. Now, one thing I didn't see when I was doing this is pay attention to that leg on the left there when I drop this down. Oh, you see it sort of shift left? I didn't notice that when I did this the first time. It's not going anywhere, but... Ooh. And see, there you go. Once the other leg is down, then it reshifts to the right. That scared the crap out of me when I rewatched this video, because I thought, man, if that thing goes, I'm just I'm just screwed. Because there's nowhere really for it to go. I mean, it's not going to fall down. It's basically just going to list to the left or the right until it lands on the bottom of one of its gear legs. But who knows what that's going to do. Anyway... Once they're off, this is actually pretty simple. It's just switching left for right, taking the nub out for the bleeder, uh, uh, the, the bleeder nub off, rotating it around, and putting it back on. That's it. And here's a little example of putting it back on. Four screws, four washers. So I say screws, sorry, bolts. All right, there we go. So now the axles are lined up. So we... Uh, in the next video, we will, uh, well, not exactly what we're going to do. Oh, we're going to go back to some nice composite work. That's what it is.
But at least now, I know that I can start doing the uh, the work for both of the fairings, and it'll all be good. So, thanks for joining me, everyone. See you soon.